Can other Wi-Fi networks impact your own Wi-Fi's network speed? I surrounded my router with four Wi-Fi routers plus an extender to see what actually happens to my own speed with so much interference. You must have heard by now people say, there's nothing to worry about. Your Wi-Fi router will automatically detect the interference, change the channel and optimize your router's Wi-Fi. But do they? Well, I'm going to find out. So let me show you what I did. Right, here's my main router that I connect to and next to it I've got router number one, router number two, router number three, router number four as well as a Wi-Fi extender. We have 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz. So these devices are now blasting their Wi-Fi signal all over the room. How is that going to impact the Wi-Fi? Let's find out. So I'm connected with Hamesh, which is my main Linksys router. Look how many Wi-Fi signals are around here at the moment. Now, some of them are the neighbors, so that actually helps with this test as well. I'm going to use my trusted Wi-Fi analyzer app, and I'm measuring the link speed. 866 megabits per second next to the Linksys router. But what's going to happen when I come out of this room and start walking away? Am I going to get the same speed? Well, you can clearly see that the picture is much different. I am getting six megabits per second and then it's disconnects and I'm getting six megabits per second again and it disconnects again. So let's check the connectivity settings on the phone and you can clearly see it's trying to make that connection, but it's not getting a good enough signal to do that. Where exactly is that automatic configuration on that router? Okay, so close up, no problem. The further away you go from the router, the more impact those interference routers seem to have. But let's find out if that is indeed the issue. Look, I don't want anyone in the comments saying I deliberately chose a spot in my house that never connects to my Wi-Fi. So let's switch everything off. Let's power down all these routers and the extender. You can see there's no lights anywhere. We still have the Linksys working, obviously. Now let's take out the phone and repeat the test. So phone connected to Kamesh. Let's have see how many networks there are now. You can clearly see it's much, much less. Still has the neighbor stuff bleeding through, which kind of helps this test, I suppose, as well. And Wi-Fi analyzer showing 866 megabits per second right next to the router, which is the exact same reading that we were getting before. The big question, what is that picture going to look like when we go back to that exact spot outside of this room? So retracing my step back to the lounge, sitting on that couch, and you can see there's a speed impact. It's dropped to 650 megabits per second. So yes, it's less than 866 that we're getting in the room, but certainly a lot better than that six megabits per second and that constant disconnection. And you can see it's holding nice and stable. So what's going on here and what can you do about this? Well, without getting too technical, our Wi-Fi routers have a range of frequency that you can use. Ideally, you want to have your Wi-Fi set up on a channel that doesn't have any other Wi-Fi's on it. This way, your Wi-Fi doesn't have to deal with all that entire network noise. Think of it this way. You're out for a romantic dinner, you're seated in a lovely private booth, and you have a lovely conversation. Now imagine 20 of your friends join you in that booth. The more people, the louder the conversation, the more you have to repeat yourself so your partner can actually hear you. Now imagine if right next to your group of friends, they seat another large party of equally loud people. Now, not only do you have to deal with your loud conversations at your table, but now their noise spills over to you too. This is called co-channel interference or CCI, where other Wi-Fi's are broadcasting the same channel as your Wi-Fi, which is causing those delays. The more activity that's on the channel, the worse your network performs and you feel slower internet speed and even latency and even disconnections. Now this gets even more complicated with the number of devices that can transmit at the same time, but you kind of get the idea. So what can you actually do about this? Well, assuming you're not willing to surround your entire house with a Faraday material, there is no real way to stop neighbors Wi-Fi from entering your home. Keeping with that restaurant analogy, you can always try and move tables where it's quieter. Same with your Wi-Fi, you can move from one channel to another. You can open up a Wi-Fi analyzer, see which channels have the fewest Wi-Fi SSIDs on them and set your router to use those channels. You do that by opening the router settings. Now, if you don't know how to do that, look for a sticker label somewhere on your router and it will tell you how to do that. Now that you're in your router settings, find the Wi-Fi section and see if the router allows you to change the Wi-Fi channel to a channel that you saw that was actually free. You may need to check back on your Wi-Fi every once in a while because the channel that you selected may actually become more congested. So you may need to move again. Now, this may not get you insanely Wi-Fi internet speed, but it will help being more stable 
stable and more reliable. Now head over here to check this faster Wi-Fi internet tips and tricks or check out this video right over here that YouTube thinks you should watch and I'll see you in this video or this one or both. I'll see you in both. Let's go.